today's task in the garden is the spring cleaning, as in removing dead sticks, trimming plants and yeah, that throughout the whole garden. But I'm going to be focusing on the first area that I showed you, the high gate garden, because you don't need to see me doing this all over. It makes for a big mess. I have this wheelbarrow is full of clean comp clean materials. The second one is just going into our bin. And the first one meaning clean as in it's going into the composting pile. As you can see, that lilac has not been trimmed. I will do that after it flowers. Because now we'll just cut off every flower it has. That's a shame. But all in all, the bed looks a lot tidier and just better in general. This pyrea wasn't a new addition that I thought of. We'll, maybe we'll plant it, maybe not, but it it's a good spot. The viburnum is showing new growth and probably buds, flower buds underneath that. And yeah, it's just looking really good after the spring cleaning. On to the next little area. First, a close up of the roses. Um, I just trimmed them down to what for me felt like a good height since I know they grew so much uh, this past year and yeah I just trimmed them not really knowing if this was a good idea or not for the Bodleia I just trimmed it down same as the rose to a height what I thought yeah this at least seemed good with the Bodleia I did try to cut in between Two new growth points because as you can see that stem I cut out and those two growth points are coming up so we'll see how big she gets this year probably a very big So this area is also all done and ready. I trim back that salvia that is probably dead. Lightly prune on this hydrangea. The biggest job was on this hydrangea. Or on also on the smallest ones, but mainly on the big one. And the biggest branch I cut off was the one I'm holding because it was crossing like so so it was giving some friction to the other branch and I decided to keep the thickest one instead of the smallest 
and as you can see this hydrangea is also looking a bit yellow so i would say a lack of nutrients and also the job after this is fertilizing the garden for that i use an organic fertilizer and some lava grit the first bucket you see is the lava grit so that it's fine stuff that helps with uh, the clay soil the bucket behind it is the organic fertilizer itself so yeah that is the final step in this garden clean out fertilizing and then it's checked off Close up of pruning another hydrangea, same one as the one um, in the other area. And I just first start off with disease. So I just try and see if I can break it. If I can break it easily, it did. So yeah, I would say the the standard things, the dead that was a dead one. Dead branches, um, looking at the shape and the structure of the plant um, i will also look at it from the top to easily spot where branches are crossing and yeah just making sure it looks good to what i personally think looks good and makes the most sense for my garden because i don't think you can ever well you can probably prune a plant too much but still if it's a good plant it'll bounce back I I don't really doubt it, especially the um, shrubs will. A closer look of how I trimmed this Bodleia, uh, similar to the first one, but this one was, well, as you can see, it's coming towards the screen because behind it used to be a big uh, hibiscus, if you can remember, that we removed and put in a mag yeah, Magnolia Genie uh, for it. So this year I decided to prune it hard uh, in the sense that I don't want it leaning so much. I just want it more upright and more a classical bush instead of this weird leaning forward shrub so i just trimmed it back looking for a new set of buds um and yeah going from there and just stepping back a couple of times and just looking at it and saying hey 
what pruning job does it need now and I can always prune it uh, during the season if I don't like its shape. Thank you for watching. Bye everyone. Dag allemaal.